What's going on guys, it's me Farkid, Kid and today I'm doing a um, commentary um, with my Oliver. Say hi Oliver. Woo! Hi guys! Yeah, he's in the background getting sweets. Um, I'm thirsty. Today, uh, thirsty for sweets. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Uh, today we're talking about, um, so I've just pre-ordered Destiny, it comes out on Tuesday. And I was looking at the price, and it was, it's 50 quid for a game now. Like, I'm, <laughs> 50 quid for a game and Master Chief Collections I think about 45. So um, it's it's very expensive for games, which used to be around thirty pounds, like not not too long ago, like I, ten I, years. I remember those days. <laughs> we had to get Pokemon for your DS for so like yeah. dirt cheap. Um, but because of all of, um, Oliver's PC gamer, he gets the other side of prices, like how um, companies like Steam and Origin do their prices. So um, Oliver, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, well, there's not really much to say. Uh, West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground, is where I spent most. No, uh, we've heard that story before. Um, no, I'm just a PC gamer. I originally got Andrew into consoles. Uh, he first started playing Halo actually when we used to do sleepovers, and uh, he used to get his ass whooped. And now look at him. He's oh, he's all in the big leagues. No, but yeah, I've sort of stuck towards PC gaming. I'm into League of Legends, MOBAs. Uh, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, so just over all those games. Yeah, uh, so tell us how um, like PC games uh, vary in price compared to console nowadays. Well, from what I've heard and seen from, because uh, you just pre-ordered Destiny, I heard, uh, well, you've just got bog standard um, Destiny Edition, which cost you just £50, was it? Yeah. yeah and that just gives you early access. Now, there's a difference between early access and unique in-game items. Like, I'm a big fan of um, RTS's, real-time strategy games, like StarCraft 2. I got the collector's edition that for 80 quid, which is 30 quid more, and I got a whole bunch of stuff. There was a free pet in World of Warcraft, new unit skins, new icons, new avatar models. I got free name changes, free server changes. You basically get a whole bunch of stuff and that's just for a 30 pound more and that's just that yeah that's that's really good value like i don't know what you get limited edition destiny but you get that's for 90 pounds as well but um uh do i know uh xbox have started doing their their, their games of gold scheme is now on 360 and xbox one where you get to, uh purchase a new game for uh, well not new game old game for free uh for a month's period actually coming up i think it's this month it's actually halo reach on Ooh. Xbox 360. Um, do uh, any PC things do stuff like that? Uh, well, <laughs> what company doesn't? You've got Steam, which often have games for just free that you can have indie games, old games. Don't really do it with new games. Origin has actually introduced, um, oh, I forgot what it's called, but they basically just give you free games now. Uh, there was Dead Space on there a while back, Peggle. Um, there was the original Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that was pretty sick. And they've also started doing a, for 48 hours, you get a game that they just put on there. Cool. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Thing is, about console is, literally, the marketplace is just, like, awful. You, like, there isn't a place to see, oh, this game's discounted and stuff. I mean, the only way you're going to know if you can get a cheaper game is by going jumping into the game yeah. and actually looking at the, 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 the shelves and seeing what's available. I mean, something that's actually good about PC is the fact that you can download games without even going out your house. Steam, for example. I, I'm pretty sure every single person out there knows Steam's on the sale. It's huge. There was... it happened. I got 15 new games that were like, just wow. came to under 20 quid. And most of those games were fairly new. There was Civilization V. Ooh. There was yeah, that's that's a big one. I play it a lot. There was not particularly new, but Dead Space 2. There was oh, I don't even I can't even remember. Uh, there's just tons of them. And Origin do it as well. I'm not sure if it's that big of a discount, but apart from that, there's yeah everything. Yeah. Also, like. Um on on PC because you get so many games for the price you pay, you get it means that more players actually play the game. Because I mean, when Halo 3 was available for free on the Xbox 360 and the Games of Gold, the the players boomed. Like yeah. the player count just went up massively. So I think uh, in PC they obviously have consistently higher numbers of players yeah. on games that are available for cheap prices, where prices be, have been slashed 
literally by like 80% on Steam like most of the time. And something else that I like to put, I prefer PC because what I've seen on consoles is PC gamers actually tend to be a lot more how do I put it, productive or loyal. They tend to be more devout. They will stick around because they know that we're PC gamers, we play games like World of Warcraft where you actually need to subscribe to pay, whereas Xbox, yeah. with Xbox Live you need to pay to just get online and then with the games you got you can go online with those. Yeah, um, of course also on PC you can uh, full mod modification support so yeah. you actually, uh, like people, there are people out there that mod the game to make it more exciting and fun. I mean yeah, if you check Steam Workshop there's, you pick up a random indie game, you pick up a random popular game there will be thousands of mods for that. Like Skyrim, for example. As soon as that came out, there was about four or five thousand mods released on the first day. It was just stupidly high, and that number's just still growing, even though the game's getting a bit a bit in the past now, but still a great game. Yeah, I mean, if like Xbox and like the companies actually uh, um, supported and uh, like allowed mod support on games yeah. rather than you getting banned for it, in, in some cases, but I think uh, Halo's definitely a big one. Halo 4 has been modded quite a few times uh, to like for no sprint settings and stuff because people dislike the sprint in the game, so competitive lobbies you end up playing that. Um, like going back to the 48 trials on you, you can get an Origin, uh, I think Xbox One is actually starting a um, they had it, they showcased something on Inside Gaming uh, a while ago and it was about weekends you can. Uh, get a trial game for free where you mm. play like the first level or something and just get like um yeah just a game for free that's that's pretty sweet because yeah they did do you know what game that they did that with or? no they, they haven't actually started the scheme yet oh they haven't no well sorry. origin did it and it was right when titanfall came out and they gave titanfall for 48 hours it was completely unlimited gameplay you weren't limited to a level a map a mode it was just do whatever you want for 48 hours and then we're taking the game straight back. And that is what I like because they, they'll they give you demos usually if you will like oh you can only do the campaign or a couple of levels or only multiplayer a little bit. Yeah. But with that they just sort of went bam here's the game you've got 48 hours enjoy. Yeah that's um, obviously that brings a lot of players to the game and then they get increased sales because of yeah. the fact that they've showcased it. I mean, it's great advertising as well, because if you get actually into the game, and then you get good at it, and then it's taken away from you, of course you're going to get the game. Yeah, you, you're going to want to buy it, and considering it's normally at cheaper prices because it's coming straight, you're cutting out the middleman if you're buying it from Origin, yeah. because you're uh, paying EA directly, rather than um, rather than like going for a game or something like that. Yeah. But um, talking about uh, like previewing games before they came out, uh, me and Oliver are going to Eurogame this year. Woo! In two weeks, is it? Uh, twenty seventh, I think it is. I'm Three not sure. weeks. Yeah, a few, a few weeks time. So, um, we'll be there on Saturday, won't we? Yeah. There'll be a, there'll be a few of us going. Um, if you, if you see us, uh, say hi. You've obviously seen my face cam stuff. <laughs> if you subscribe to me on Twitter, you probably see me for some reason you, taking a selfie. You won't recognise me because I'm a ninja. Nobody <laughs> actually sees me. But also look for us in the Minecraft tournaments because uh, yeah, played them last time. We we <laughs> we finished well high, didn't we? We, we? we we just arrived into the finals. So yeah, we got to the finals. That was pretty sick. But of course, um, Halo will be there hopefully. Mm. I mean, yeah. uh, Halo will only be a month until it comes out roughly. So hopefully it's there. Be a bit play a bit of that Halo Two action. There's an idea. They might actually do um, Halo championships. If they did, that would be pretty sick. Like they might preview remastered Halo Two or remastered. Yeah. Or like that. Yeah, that that'd be um, pretty sick. So um, yeah, obviously say hi if you see us there. Let me know and let Oliver know obviously in the comments if you guys are Ooh. going. Um, this has been Farward and Oliver. See you, ladies. Peace out. <laughs>